What's going on everybody? My name is Phantomatic and today we're going to be talking about everything new within the incomplete domain Megumi Fushiguro update. We got a bit of stuff to talk about like the unit itself. We got the new event that also came out along with Megumi. We also have the times 2 materials quest that's going on right now but first and foremost we have to talk about Megumi Fushiguro himself so make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let's get right on with the video. So if you all didn't know Megumi Fushiguro Shigeru incomplete domain is out right at the moment you can see his special right here it honestly looks absolutely amazing however we have to talk about what he does and if he is a pull worthy unit which of course we know he isn't because we're all saving for Utah at the moment as you can clearly see I have 11,000 saved up far from 75,000 but hey it is what it is you just gotta keep saving let's hope <laughs> Utah doesn't drop soon Otherwise, we're all going to go broke. Somebody is going to be spending a lot of money in this game, but it's not going to be me, okay? But yeah, let's just go straight into what Megumi Fushiguro does. Now, I know the game itself is quite finicky when it comes to explaining what the character does. However, I don't feel like to come off of the game to then go on to Google to explain it. However, so I will try my best as to try and properly explain it on the game itself. So his first ability is going to consume zero curse points. It's going to deal melee attack damage to target enemy or enemies equal to 180% of his physical technique. And this skill effect will change during his domain expansion Chimera Shadow Garden which will apply 99.3% damage taken increase to target enemies for 3 turns, deals massive attack damage equal to 300% of his physical technique. Pretty crazy, so yes, domain expansion abilities are in the game. I didn't know this personally because I'm not too familiar with JP's side of this game, but it's pretty cool to see that domain expansions are a thing in this game. And they also apply pretty decent abilities, like for example, the 99.3% damage they can increase to target enemies, that is insane you know what bro if you combo that with gojo at the moment you're clearing the field it's not even a joke you're gonna be clearing the field it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie so yeah this is his first skill it's amazing so his second skill is going to deal melee attack damage to all enemies equal to 195.4 percent of his physical physical technique two hits in total so it's, it's a two hit attack the skill effect changes during domain expansion chimera shadow garden which deals hybrid damage to all enemies equal to two 100% of melee attack physical technique and 200% of melee attack physical technique. Okay, wait, what's the difference? Of ra okay, of ranged attack curse technique. So it's dealing physical and it's dealing curse attack. So basically, physical magic, you know the drill. I, I feel like everybody knows what physical and curse is already. So yeah, that's the second attack. It's pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. 200% of melee attack and 200% of physical uh, of curse attack, that's pretty darn good. And it only takes up like 15. Pretty cool. But we haven't gotten to the interesting part yet. So this isn't the interesting part. <laughs> I know it sounded like the next skill was the interesting part. But before that, we have to go into this third skill here, which is going to consume 25 curse points. It's going to deal melee attack hybrid damage to target enemy or enemies equal to 255% of physical technique and 180% of curse technique and applies a 20% physical technique damage taken increase to them for three turns. So basically, he's pretty good for people like uh, Itadori and people like, well, Toji isn't in the game yet, but people like Toji who primarily uses physical type attacks, not even both of them you can also include in uh the ssr i keep forgetting his name but the ssr nanami who, who does hybrid like physical and hybrid curse this can combo really well with a lot of characters who use physical techniques so and we haven't even gotten to the domain expansion amp yet the skill effect changes during the domain expansion chimera shadow garden deals melee attack hybrid damage to target enemy or enemies equal to 400 percent of physical technique and 225 percent of curse technique deals range damage to them equal to 200 percent of curse technique and applies a 60 percent physical technique damage taken increase to them for two turns and has the chance and has a guaranteed chance to apply stun absolutely insane holy not only is he applying debuffs 
to the enemies, but he's also stunning the enemies on top of that while doing massive amounts of hybrid damage. That is nutty. Oh my, bro. This, it, it makes sense as to why Megumin is where he is. Stands at SS tier. He is absolutely insane. And we haven't even gone to his oh, ultimate yet, and which is what we're getting into right now. But his skills so far are absolutely amazing, especially with the domain expansion amp. So now we have his ultimate domain expansion chimera shadow garden which is a four turn domain expansion it applies attack nullification ultimate gauge increase nullification and curse energy efficiency increase to himself what the hell does ultimate gauge increase nullification mean wait what what does that even mean does he does he just get his ultimate oh my bad my bad i'm so stupid i'm so stupid he's not going to be able to increase his ultimate when he uses his domain expansion duh it makes sense and he applies curse energy efficiency increase which is amping his curse energy output like crazy and resists this curse energy to z and wait to self and resets curse energy to zero when the effect ends deals range attack damage to target enemy or enemies equal to one thousand percent of curse technique four hits in total and has a 100 percent chance to apply stun to every single enemy for one turn most likely one or two enemies but if it's all of them that is insane and applies a 35 percent damage dealt decrease and 45 percent damage taken increase to all enemies changes the effects of self certain skills will always be replaced if any other domain will always be replaced if any other domain expansion exists so basically if you don't understand what that last part means is that you can't change the domain expansion once it's up so i feel like this means when for example jogo uses his domain expansion you won't be able to use your domain expansion because it's a incomplete domain expansion at the end of the day any other powerful ones will be able to over override it basically and i do feel like this curse energy efficiency increase means that his curse energy the amount he uses for example if we just go to this one real quick this one which consumes 25 curse energy is going to let's say hypothetically now use 15 percent so it's going to reduce the cost of these curse energies by a certain amount which is pretty darn good does he have any passives he doesn't have any passives so yeah this is incomplete domain megumi will i say should you pull them absolutely not <laughs> and let me tell you why yuta is coming up i know it i know it deep in my soul yuta is coming up i made the mistake of pulling when i shouldn't have for itadori that's my fault i should have just used what i had however now that i know this i'm going to be saving up yuta is a phenomenal unit which i will be getting into in another video but trust me when i say you want yuta on your account from what i've seen from my comments i've heard that Utah isn't going to be in the standard pool of characters. I heard that every other SSR is going to be in the pool besides Utah and another unit. So you realistically want to have Utah on your account. Utah is by far one of the best units in the game. Super powerful, especially with Rika. But that's for another video. This is now. So now that we got into what Megumi does, he's not pull worthy. Do not pull him. We have a limited amount of jades. I said jades. This is not HSR. Cubes. We need 75,000 gar for our guaranteed character. Come on. So be smart. Don't pull. Unless you want to spend money on this game, which is a financially poor decision, but whatever. So yes, do not pull, do not pull Megumi at all. Please don't. Save your save your cube my guy save your cubes so now that we have gotten megumin out the way as you can clearly see down here if you look at domain investigation and enhanced quest you're like what are what is that what is that arrow up there what does that say what, why is there a campaign going on so now let me explain let's go into this real quick so as you can see once you press it nothing seems out of the ordinary however until you press one of these once you press one of these you're going to go down you're going to clear whatever one you're going to press the one that you can clear and then you're going to look Look up here look up in the corner here right here and there's a drop two times quest going on for eight days what this means is that you're going to get the, double the amount of what you already get from clearing all of this so for example let's just clear this real quick so we're going to clear it and then you're going to see the times to effect take place <laughs> So now, as you can see, once it shows the how much you get, 
is also going to be applying the times too now it's times the amount of this i have no idea if it shows already the amount the times to effect in place or you just have to do the math and just time this by two which is around like almost like 3k just from this which would be pretty crazy but yeah this is basically it you're getting times to the amount of whatever you get from the specific mission pretty cool so i would recommend stocking up as much as possible when it comes to materials materials are an absolute necessity in this game characters drain the hell out of your materials you're going to be struggling for materials for a while so i would recommend getting as doing this as much as possible on anything you're <laughs> lacking on please i beg of you do not struggle with materials like me. Character, bro, they suck the materials dry. Pause. It depends if it's Gojo. Uh, you know, no pause. But yes, please do this as much as possible. You do not want to be lacking on materials. So here we have the latest story event. It's Megumi and it's about something going on in the story. I'll have to read it. It's a it's a non-canon story. Not non-canon, it's an original story from Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade. It's probably good. Who knows? But yes, it is very it is basically similar to the first event we got with that one specific um recollection you should know what it is i'm not about to go show you but you know exactly what it is with the tokens you gotta exchange it so here we have uh, it's basically one-to-one -one, but we're not here for that specifically we're here for the recollection as well but that's for just now here's the event quest we're gonna go on to the event quest real quick i'm gonna be showing you so right as you can see here's the event quest you gotta complete them uh, they shouldn't be hard at all. We have a normal, we have a hard, yep. These, of uh, this is what I like about these events. These events are not hard at all. They don't force you to be good, to like have the, oh, recommended level to beat them. They're so easy, bro. And that, that's one thing I'll appreciate the depths for. Don't, <laughs> for not giving us super hard quests. Because if I'm being honest, we could get a little hard quest from time to time, but constantly would be frustrating. It'd be annoying. So I like that they took into consideration the newer players as well. Now, I mean, they didn't take into consideration free to play players with the gotcha system, but I digress. Whatever. Whatever, you know? So yeah, this is it. Get this done whenever you can. Um, to be honest, don't rush it. It's like two weeks. It's going to be here for like two weeks, I think. 12 days. Almost two weeks. Almost. But we're also here for the recollection bit. Uh, we're going to be seeing if it's like worth going for. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, you're going to have to you're going to be getting it either way. Let's go and look at what the recollection bit does. So here we have the recollection bit offering to to the serpent. Uh, Megumi got kidnapped. That is crazy. Uh, we're here for this. Let's see what it does. Triggered upon using any ultimate skill applies 35% damage dealt de increase to self for two turns. Damage dealt to self equal to 15% of self's HP won't withdraw from combat due to taking this damage. Now, this isn't specifically for Megumi, but it definitely is a another option if you couldn't get his recollection bit from the banner, which I completely forgot to talk about. Wow, I completely forgot there was a recollection bit. I'm just upset that there are like higher chance on the banner. It pisses me off, so I completely forgot his existence. But here's a passive skill what activates when you enter the battle. When battle starts, applies a 15% ultimate gauge fill rate increase to self for two turns. Yeah, this is definitely for Megumi, I'm being honest. This is good for other units as well that specifically relies on their ult, not relies, but their ultimate is really good so you want to pop it up as much as possible so yeah it's really good for characters like that but it will also be really good for megumi uh trust me you're not gonna you don't don't regret it don't regret it i have to also finish the first event as well jesus christ three events ladies and gentlemen three whole events this game gave us absolutely insane oh my god but yeah last thing now is the last thing we gotta talk about we're gonna have to talk about the recollection pit i completely forgot that thing existed so here is the recollection the ssr recollection bit on his banner it's called limit i <laughs> wait i was about to call it limit break look it's down there rest for the adults let's go check out what it does triggered upon using any command skill or ultimate skill recovers 30 percent hp for self recovers 250 ultimate gauge for self yeah this is basically for megumi this is just for megumi uh here's the passive when the fourth turn starts and can be used only once in battle applies a 25 percent damage dealt increase to all allies yeah pretty cool pretty cool uh this is it uh if i is it pull worthy no yuta is right there come on yuta yuta is coming up trust and believe yuta is coming up but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i have to also talk about junpei is junpei still here if he's not then no videos on him right yeah junpei is also here so i will have to go talk about junpei in another video but yes megumina is out this is the update that's out for him 
I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope this information was helpful to you all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. Signing off.